The good news is we've got lots of lenders now lending at 90% loan to value for those people that have only got 10% deposit. So that's fantastic news. Uh, and with that comes a lots of choices, whether you want to buy it, whether you're a first time buyer, next time buyer, um, in terms of affordability, what are they like? What have I found in regards to credit profiles, um, uh, pricing? So there's a lot of different, you know, there's more to go out now, there's more choice. That's why it's vital you speak to a broker. But in this video, I'm gonna break down some of the things that I found in the last month or so dealing at high loan to value mortgages. Still not my favorite. I still prefer my clients having 15% deposit minimum. However, there's a lot more choice out there so I can be more confident uh, about sort of speaking to my clients about the 90% deal so enjoy this video let me know what you think guys and like and subscribe as always take care so um, about four months ago five months ago when lenders started pulling away the 90% uh, products out there I was very dubious I said well lenders don't want the risk Lenders are worried about down valuation. Lenders are worried about the property market. Lenders are all worried. And to an extent they were, but essentially the lenders have all come back in. There's a lot of lending being done now at 90% loan to values. Certainly there's a lot of lenders out there. So, you know, we've seen some big lenders come back into the fold. So we saw lenders like Halifax come in at 90%. Barclays come back in at 90%. Virgin come back in at 90%, NatWest come back in with 90%, Accord come back in with 90%, Nationwide have been in pretty much all the way through, they're still at 90%. Then you've got a whole host of building societies, Platform come back in at 90%, and then you've got, yes, you've got the whole host of building societies that have been in and out of 90% lending. So that's the positive side. Do you want me, to, you know, I like to be negative as well. I always like to be negative a little bit. And in fact, I had some of the comments. The, one, one, one lady, I think, said, this guy just moans. All he does is moans. He should be grateful we give him a mortgage. And to be fair, she had a point. I do moan a lot. Um, let me tell you what the downsides with the 90% is so far. The couple of cases that I've done at 90% with, a, with Halifax, for example, um, they've been foreign nationals, quite a lot of foreign nationals on a visa. So we've done that with them. Um, but what I'm finding is, let's say we did four agreement and principles, three of them got knocked down to 85% loan to value. Now they fit criteria, they've matched the affordability, however, um, they were getting knocked back at 85% loan to value because of the lender's internal credit score. Now that's nothing to do with credit you know credit profile it's just their internal score and it was just saying to them look at 90% we're going to stress test or we're going to credit profile that client uh, more harshly and at this current time we're only willing to give them 85% now the beauty of it is we have got other lenders now to default that will do that type of business at a at 90% for a foreign national so we can move that around maybe the affordability is not as good though so um, there's two things that I've touched on a 90% okay so it's a harsher credit scoring facility okay um, but also affordability assessments harsher as well across the board pretty much okay um, now there are some lenders that are just not as good on affordability as the others so they don't they, they'll come out their marketing or their sales people will tell come out and say at 90% loan to value we don't treat our clients any differently to anybody else yeah but because you're not that great on affordability anyway okay so um, you know you've got to go look beyond the, the sales team or the brochures that you get from some of the lenders out there that's why it's important you deal with a broker that knows what they're talking about with this stuff okay that deals with this stuff all the time um, and there are lots of brokers out there i'm not talking about niche advice we're not just about plugging ourselves there are lots of brokers uh, available that know this market know uh, know this industry um so yeah so there's a little bit of an update on 90 percent loan to values again guys the content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.